dressed all in black, on a, on a black hat on, black and white shoes, sitting there with a cup of coffee. This old guy come past with his wife. She was walking behind him. He got to me, and he, he stood in front of me deliberately so I could hear what he said. He said, I don't know whether he's going to, to I don't know whether he's going to a wedding or a funeral. And as he walked past, I said, yeah, yours. <laughs> Watching TV one day, and there was a new band that had started to play down in the Two Eyes Coffee Bar, which I didn't know then. The guy was called, what was his name? Vince Taylor and the Playboys. You, you can Google his name. He had a sad end as well. But he looked like Elvis Presley. He was all in black. I was, I was mesmerised by him. I said, we've got to go and find this place. Where is it? It's Soho. So we jumped on the bus, as I said come up here, finally found the place, and um, we never saw him though, but of course it opened up our eyes to the whole area, never been here before, we thought bloody what a place, this is a great place, you know, coffee bars everywhere, there was clubs, and rock and roll was just starting up as well, so it was a fascinating place to come to, which, which we really enjoyed. So it's become, it's, it's, it's become sanitised, yeah. it's much the same as anywhere else really. It's become corporate and it's become mundane and boring, really. Everybody looks the same. You've got this tourist, the tourist flooding here. I'll be honest, in the old days, if you was a mother with a young child, you would never walk through Soho. It was quite dangerous. There was prostitution and the rest of it going on. But today, it's all under control. If you see a sign outside a door, you can tell that it's actually a brothel, really. They call it a massage. <laughs> But there's plenty of them still about. But in them days, they used to hang around on the corner. Mm. And you'd, you'd say hello to them, probably, yeah. you know? Uh, but yeah, it was a magic time. This happened in 1949, this place. 1949. And they've been here uh, ever since. I mean, they're, they're a beacon, really. They are really the heart of Soho. When that goes, I think that'll be it. Got the Cafe, Cafe Nero. I mean, that's... To me, that's a dump, really. Look at it. It's like that place over there, or that place. This is unique. But this to me is actually Soho. This place actually represents the old Soho, you know? There were a lot of these other places done. They're here today, gone tomorrow. This is this has been established since 19, 1949. It's a long time ago. This is this is it, and Bar Italia next door. Ronnie Scott's faced in literally on the other side of the road. This spot here is the epicentre to me, of so hard. But people do come up here looking for them places that don't exist. Another generation have been mesmerised by the glamour of Soho. They thought, oh, we must go there one day and see it, but it's not here anymore. I just on all my own clothes, all of them. They're all the same, basically the same shape, but different fabrics. People always say to me, where'd you get your clothes? I said, that's where I got them from, in there. They said, I like to, can I, where, where can I buy one? Where can I buy that? So you can't buy it anywhere. So you've got to sit down in your room and start to think about what you want to look like yeah. or what fits you or suits you, what style. 99% of people will say to me, oh, oh, fantastic, oh, great. Then you get the, the occasional one who will say, where'd you get the clothes from, mate? And that's what I say to them, well, in there. That's what they are. They're in there. You've got to find, you've got to find your clothes and suit you you know, your personality. But, you know, people don't. I, I, my, my advice to most people is to be yourself. Forget what they say or what they say, just be you. Don't be intimidated by other people. Funny thing about me, I do intimidate other people because I look like this, but I don't mean to. It's just, just me being natural. So people, most people are not natural though. They, they watch TV, they watch advertisements, they see this and see that, they, they talk to their friends. They want to be in a pack. So I, I've actually become a shepherd in a sense. <laughs> a shepherd. That's why a flower. Flower and a hanky, always. You couldn't, you couldn't, you know, I would not go out without a flower. Yeah. Or a hanky in my top pocket. I, I feel undressed. It's, I know it sounds weird, but I did. Things have to be right, even down to socks. Socks have to be the right colour. See, they're, they're, they're brown. They're not blue or yellow, like some guys would wear. <laughs> that wouldn't work for me. I, I, that'd be on my mind. I thought, oh, I can't go out like that. 
I'll sooner be dead than be, be a sheep. Sorry. <laughs> As time's gone on now, it's all about money and all of it. The people are just encouraged to run with the pack. And the pack is boring. They need a shepherd. That's why I step in. They see me and uh, maybe I inspire them. I don't know. I hope so. To be themselves.